and what's up today i'm obviously going to be talking to you guys about the bmw um the bmw ix14 the bmw m sport anyway i digress Now, today I obviously wanted to talk about the BMW iX, but did anybody see but did anybody see the carnival where people were absolutely lit? People were having a good time. A lot of the women look, it, look a lot of the women looked good. Everybody was drinking their their um drinks or um. now you're probably thinking what does a BMW have to do with carnival? Well, with most cars, in particular luxury cars, it's rooted in culture. But I get to that point in a minute. Now, when I used to go to Carnival, I usually go to a particular sound because they are the only ones who played really, really kind of good music. And if a certain DJs were on, oh my gosh, it, you knew it was going to be a great night basically it really made you appreciate music and that's one thing with me i like great music i love great music now the interesting thing about this is that the organizer of the event hosted it live so you actually watch all the floats go past and the commentator had a nickname for each of the floats i just i just found a better way to experience carnival without actually being there watching it on youtube because i just find that with carnival it gets it gets ram pretty quickly if you're not there from early Now, you're probably thinking, what is the correlation between BMW cars and Carnival? Well, one word is culture. I say this because before I knew what a BMW was, I would often refer to it as a Beamer, not realizing that a BMW is often referred to what a BMW is often referred to. As. Now, more importantly, despite cars being promoted by the brand, right, you usually see it in the culture of music or even in pictures that you would often find on um, social media when you find yourself obviously scrolling. So for me, for, yeah, so for me, I feel like social media often is the place to go for purchases, especially Instagram. Instagram is definitely like the this is anyway whether it's pictures that are taken and posted on social media or essentially in music videos I feel like um obviously BMW is no different you know what I you know what I never considered is BMW as obviously a luxury um vehicle company it's a multinational manufacturer of luxury vehicles and motorcycles um I didn't know they even did motorcycles but I but I digress. I didn't even know they did motorcycle, but I digress. Did you know that the BMW actually took part in Formula One? I've got a feeling most cars in some capacity took part in Formula One on one way or another. Okay, let's get into it. So I looked at the BMW I red and metallic gray, and let me tell you, it was very classy, very spacious, very out of this world, very demure. The car which was very the car which was faster was the red car it was a 2022 plate and had a different engine it was a long range and it was very different to the 2024 motors m sport which was a metallic gray but the red car was exceptionally faster both cars were electric cars but i'll get to that in a minute so you're probably thinking what is the difference between a long range and a short range car well firstly it's well firstly it would be the engine and the distance you are able to travel in the shortest amount of time the bigger the engine the more 
the bigger the engine the more power it actually has and the ability for you to go very very fast compared to a car with a smaller engine now i'm telling you bmw is well i'm telling you bmw has really outdone itself today um well, not today but it's really outdone itself with this new model um this so essentially i'm in the bmw ix and this car is absolutely amazing i've never been a fan of bmws ever in life but the infotainment in this car is serious like tesla e so essentially um you've got your bmw id oh church okay you've got your bmw id let's go back go to home okay okay let's start again uh, if you can see here you can see all like the yeah so you've got your bmw id you've got your mobile devices you've got your personal assistant you've got your android if you have an android i don't have an android i've got apple device but you've got your radio you've got your charging you've got your weather you've got your spotify you've got your new podcast you've got your seat comfort the amount of apps on this thing is absolutely amazing Oh, the infotainment is serious. And I was complaining about infotainment before. Look at this. Look, I like I like the BMW. The one that I'm in is actually um, a burgundy red. It's like a red color. So the one I'm in is actually a red one. Um, look at the steering wheel. It's very, oh, this is a steering wheel. Absolutely amazing. And then from the steering wheel here, we've got the doors. Now the doors essentially has got like, you know, like buttons to open, to close. Um, this is to open your door. Then he's obviously got your thing here with your seating. And then you've got the, here, you've got your different adjustments with the car um, to open your window, close your window, like the navigation wheel. It's absolutely amazing. Obviously you've got your left and then your right. And then obviously here, you've got like mahogany wood. And look at this. No, sir. Let me. When I'm telling you, I like BMW now. I look. You can use this. When I use this, what happens here? It actually, it actually moves color. Absolutely amazing car. <laughs> Sorry. Absolutely amazing car. And then when we go here, as obviously it's very deep in the pockets. <laughs> very, very deep in the pocket. It's absolutely. So basically, I'm out in this car it's spacious look at look at this look at this look how spacious it is in here absolutely very spacious it's got this kind of um what's that thing called um glass kind of feel glass kind of look who is this guy brother as i was saying this is the boot and obviously the seats are folded so it's huge 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 it's not a panoramic roof it's obviously you've got your sos things here it's an electric car mind you and then you've got this thing these things here and what type of things what are this okay and obviously you've got your glove compartment let me open the glove compartment oh what <laughs> always get interrupted when you're doing something but absolutely this car is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing so let's go and check out the car at the back oh look how dope this is i'm gonna open the door look but i don't understand why the window comes down that don't make sense and then if i close it so how do we get out then okay this is to do something this is to do with the ac i think in the car Oh no, that's to do with the seating. Okay, that pushes my seat forward. This car is like top of the range. Oh, what? Okay, how do I get out of this car now? Oh God, I'm right. And it's got Bowers, Mil Bowers Wilkins as the sound system in this car. This car is beautiful. Look at the air vents of the car. Oh wow. Okay. Now, this car is absolutely amazing. It's a burgundy one. It's red. It's not even burgundy. It's red. Look at the wheels on this. And then, obviously, you've got your lights. 
I think it's really an amazing car. Um, a, a beautiful car. Look at that. I'll have to come back and test drive this. But this is it in Burgundy. Absolutely amazing. So this is the BMW. So this is the BMW. It's a burgundy red car. And it's... I'm in the BMW iX and this is the grey version. And I will tell you something right now. This car is nothing short of amazing. It's very different from the initial red one that I was in. That was a 2022 plate. This is a 2024 plate. Um, you can tell straight away off the bat it's different. The other one, the glove compartment, you actually have to... Or the um, hand rest, you actually have to lift the lever up. This one, you actually don't. You don't actually have to lift the lever up. You can see that this is, there's no glass button. It's just like this. Then if I toggle over, it's just, look, it's just a totally different feel for this particular car. I need to get this car on test drive. It's absolutely amazing. Then it's, oh, but the down system on this car is by Harman and Carden, whereas the other one was a totally different one. Now, if you look at this car, look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So the other car is a 2022 plate this is a 2024 plate and it had these little knobs and these all oh, to obviously move your seating forward and back forward and back do you know what i mean now this car is i'm gonna find out how much it's gonna cost but yeah it's absolutely amazing it's the material it's it's just a neater a nicer car this one's a gray one this one's just a neater an absolute nicer car have some sort of roofing system let's see oh, oh look at that backside okay that's quite candy so this has got a pan is i want to say it's got a panoramic roof but this has got a glass roof look and then i notice if i press this button I can see outside and I close it I can't see outside so it's kind of like a mirror effect on this this car is absolutely nothing short of amazing look at this car absolutely amazing the detail is aesthetically pleasing it's got a lot of leg room at the front absolutely a lot of leg room in the front bloody hell <sighs> it's absolutely amazing Let me ask them how much it is. This one's 60. This one, I'm assuming, is a 2024 plate. Let me ask them like a charging port on this. Look at that. And then you've got this. Okay. Put all of this stuff at the back. This is like top notch stuff. got like mahogany wood and it's got like glass um it's got like a glass diamante kind of look um obviously the hand rest is very different as well um what else do i want to say obviously on the doors if you can see the doors it's different but what i will say is this the infotainment system on this car is absolutely off the chain absolutely off the chain like i always sit there and i complain about supercars like your lamborghini your urus or um your ferraris or not being great infotainment system but the bmw sets it's it's, it's it's just on, on another league of its own like nothing i've seen not all the cars that i've seen and looked at compares to this at all compares to this at all it's absolutely an amazing view absolutely amazing vehicle it's great you've got all the apps so you've got spotify you've got your telephone you've got your navigation system you've got your weather system you've got your bmw assistant obviously 
the cars that I'm typically used to seeing on the road are like the X5s or maybe the X1s or a, a BMW. I don't know if I know what that car is, but I'll show you in a minute. But those are the type of cars I'm used to seeing. But this, boy, you're on another league. But this car, the BMW M60, even though this is the fastest car compared to the new car, because the iX40 is not that fast, but the BMW i uh, the BMW 40 is not that fast but it's got this kind of sheer roofing so essentially if you press buttons oh, I can't do it now if you press buttons if you press buttons what essentially ha these are the type of cars that I like that are BMW look at this our oh, uh, look at that uh, you know what I never knew BMW do nice cars no no BMW do nice cars, like proper proper nice cars. Look at that. It's a 65i. It's actually a really nice, really nice car. Them old BMWs. Mm -mm. That number kit. This though. Woo! Then yeah, this is why when I got into the red BMW iX40, which was a year, which was a 2022 play, I was told that it was a very it was a very fast car compared to the metallic grey, which was the BMW iX40 also. But it actually had a smaller engine so the red car was definitely the faster car and that's the car what you often called beamer is a car that you that is used by many people whether it's running errands going to work or nights out now i've never really been a fan of the bmw um but obviously when i got into this car my thoughts obviously changed and i think as you are you know why i didn't i never got into you know i've never really got into the bmw's especially the 4x4 ones the um yeah especially the 4x4 especially the x5 it's because they're just big and they're clunky however the bmw ix40 is on another level m sport do you know what i mean it's, an, it's a totally another level m sport it's probably the best suv car that bmw has ever made in a long time now the bmw a40i a40 840i 2024 m sport is a nice car I'm not really a fan of the older models at all. It's just, but this new one is just a sleeker design. It fits two people in the car, which I think is absolutely brilliant. iX40 Drive M Sport is probably the best BMW on the market and costs about 103,000 brand new. Obviously, depending on the specifications on the car, you can get you can get them from as low as 80,000 for a standard. And other cars that I've had previous owners. For on or around seventy thousand. Now I now I honestly see BMWs as racer cars. Obviously, you have the SUV, which are more family orientated cars. But I have to say, the BMW's iX Drive M Sport is an amazing car. Absolutely amazing car. Um, so let me just talk to you about the specifications of the car. First of all, it's electric, right? It's five seats. Um, the top speed is 124 miles per hour. Um, its top speed is 6.1 seconds. Now, when we are looking at the interior of the car, the 2022 plate has a mahogany wood just underneath the hand rest where you can essentially control the infotainment in the car. What really got me hyped about this car when entering was the infotainment. Now I've got another video about Apple and infotainment and I'm telling you now, even though I would never consider a BMW to be a luxury car, the infotainment in the BMW, is, in particular this one, is out of this world. It's just on a love and, it's just on another level for the newer models anyway, which are obviously the 2023, 2024 plate. Absolutely amazing car. Now, if you've been in a luxury car that are in excess of like 232,000 with the most expensive, I don't know, being four million, you will know that the infotainment is very basic. These types of cars are focused on performance and speed. Um, you can't really listen to anything whilst in those types of cars because the engine is loud. Um, yeah, because the engine is loud and you're essentially sitting behind the engine and it's just so loud, it's ringing in your ear. Anyway, I digress. My point here is the infotainment, which is the monitor in the car, 
has obviously various different applications it's quite literally it's quite sensational it's very very it's it's, it's very sensational it's very amazing it's very it's very amazing i like it I, I just really like it the older model cars don't have any of these features per se to an extent um and are very much standard i feel like across the board but they're okay but a bit standard across the board now the car that had um dark silver access now the newer model which was the um the black and gray one had dark silver accents for the newer model the driver's seat was very spacious it had a lot of leg room in the front of the car oh my gosh now when you get into the majority of the four by fours it's compact and very tight um they're not they're not i feel like they're not great i'm talking about the four by fours so if you're trying to do any x40 super c's these types of cars is on a lover level the ix40 is on I feel like it's on the level of the Aston Martin um, DBX 707. It's an absolutely exquisite car. Um, Chris, peace out. Oh, not peace out. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Bye.